back. And I want to show you some close-ups. I think that small piece of chrome, if I was doing this truck, I would replace that little piece there. It's pretty worn. The headlights and the lower lights need a polish. They need to be cleaned up. I also want to point out that the grill around the outside, you'll see that the, uh, well, it's just like a plastic sticker almost, has really gotten beat up. So that lower light needs to be done as well as the top one. The next thing I want to show you is this fender has a wear mark on it right there and it's from the door so I think this fender needs to be adjusted a bit it's not pushed in quite far enough it's not loose it's where it's supposed to be maybe we'll have to look at that okay looking closely at the sleeper you can see there's like a little rock chips on this this road facing side so I would count three or four, about ten. There's a few down here, and a few on the leading edge of this fender, or fairing. We have a decal we need to take off. And certainly these decals need to come off. I think it'll, they'll clean up nicely there shouldn't be too much left. Now, you can see this air dam has been rubbing, so there's a strip along there of worn paint. Now, I tried to wash up in behind the box here as much as I could, but the back of the truck looks good. Now frame's got some wear in it. You see that the paint is completely chipped off in a number of spaces. So if you're going to put a deck on the back of this one, that'll get covered up. But I think it should be sealed up to keep it from doing too much more of that rusting. Again, here too, you can see the it's through to the base metal. There's a lot of gravel flying off tires over time. Of course, we're going to replace the rear tires. They're quite worn. Now, I got a bungee here. Obviously, there's a loose piece of something underneath there that we'll need to reattach that. But usually, it's a matter of getting in behind the fuel tank here and finding out what bolt broke. This side of the sleeper looks good too. I have very few scratches or. Even low on the fenders, the truck is nice. Looking closer at the front glass, I noticed we've got about three rock chips. Those need to be fixed. This fairing looks good. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's there's a nice little gold flake in this paint. Sharp looking truck. Right, there's another rock chip. And I got another couple here and here. And one back there. Nice looking truck. Lifting up the hood, you can see there's a uh, one, two, three rock chips on the driver's side, right up on the top. And then on the passenger side, if you look right up there, there's another one. It's a little bit bigger. That's a little bit smaller than a dime. What's, been, what's nice to see is it's got the 
protective, um, that's a 3M rock guard on the front edge, the leading edge of the truck hood. I want to point out some paint blemishes on the passenger side door. So there's my finger as a size reference. You can see that there's little bubbles right here. There is the start of some rust underneath that. And going back, there's another little one. And this one is actually through the paint. You can see the size of it compared to my finger. And if you look along the bottom edge of the door, this is really common with these Volvos. This is not surprising, but we do get this because this is the drain. These are the drain holes, and it tends to kind of catch on this edge, and the water sits there and rusts a bit. Not uncommon. I see it on almost every truck like this. Here's the driver's side door. There's a little start of it up on the front edge, but along this one, we don't have that. I want to show you the rear tires. I've got four tires that are reasonable. Here's my measuring device, measuring the tread depth, and you can see that the looking at 30 seconds, we've got about a 12, 30 second depth on that tire. This one slightly more. That's a, uh, that's a 12, 30 second as well. This one is an oddball tire. The tread is completely different. If I measure this one, we're at about 11, 30 seconds. So I've got one, two, three at 11. 12 and 12, and then looking at the remainder, we pick this one, that one is 11, 30 seconds, so I'll give you the percentage, I'll, I'll look up these, these are, um, these are recaps, so these are not original tires, these are, this tread has been put, put on on the outside, um, but I wonder, and you can see, here's, Here's the join of where it was vulcanized back together. But as an option, we may be able to run these tires. They're all recaps. There's the join. But we've got certainly four tires that could have lots of life. Now, they're not brand new, that's for sure. But um, the other thing that I would point out is that the cores, like this is a Michelin, this is a Bridgestone. I'll have to look at that other inside one on the passenger side. This one is armor steel, so a Kelly tire. Um, the other ones are not worth it. Like this one, this one is really worn. This one is is an oddball. That's something to think about. We, those tires would probably have. A good 50, 80,000 kilometers, or 50, sorry, 50,000 miles, 80,000 kilometers on them. Maybe those would work well for you. Uh, what's nice about this tread design is it's a solid sidewall. So that this edge is solid. These are quieter tires than ones that have little brakes in them as well. And here are the steer tires. What I want to show you on this passenger side one is that inside is really worn off. So uh, Greg did say he absolutely would never buy Toyos again. You can see that there's a worn spot in here. And go to the driver's side. This one has completely different uh, wear pattern. I've got in the center band, I've got a wear sp spot there. It almost looks like it just peeled right off. It looks like it's a layer that came off in the same here. Looking at leaks next. The passenger side of the engine is really dry. All the way back. And you also look at the pan for any moisture, and this one's good. Now I'll show you the driver's side. 
the top is dry, but I do have a slow leak in the back. If you look, let's see if we can get this right down in there. That's where the, that's underneath the compressor. I'll take a look and just see what that is because you can see that over time, even if this, we have the smallest drip, it will go and accumulate. Let's see if I can get the right angle here. It'll accumulate on the air tanks. So if you look right back through there, you can see that a little bit of oil then picks up the dust from the road and it starts to pile up. 